All right, hey guys, it's me here. Um, so we're gonna prove today why Mr. Clifford's uh, quick and dirty way works for the opportunity cost calculation. So let's say there's country X and country Y, good A and good B. So I'm using ab abstract terms, terms here to show it works for everything. All right, so X produces good A at I and good B at J. Y can produce K of good A and L of good B. All right, so easy, right? You get it so far? So the quick and dirty way states that. Um, so it compares I, L, and J, K, and depending on which one's greater, if it's the number of goods, uh, that's the more uh, better way to go. So it's I, L versus J, K because uh, country X producing I uh, of good A and country, B, uh, country Y producing good B, so that's L, so it's I times L, Versus country X producing good B and country Y producing good A, that's J and K. So IL versus JK. All right, so that should be easy so far. And then the real way is you have to go through this. So the first thing I do is uh, you convert, because um, at first it's IK and then JL. So you want to standardize it so that good, uh, so country Y produces the same amount of a good A and good B. So you turn L into K by multiplying it by K over L, which turns it into K, but then you have to multiply J by the same amount because it's in ratios, right? If you can produce K, and so what I'm doing here is if country Y produced uh, K of good B, how much would X then be able to produce of uh, good B if country Y had produced K of good B? Because then it's all ratios, right? Uh, because for every L that country Y can produce, country X can produce J of it. So then you do that, you multiply it by K over L, thereby standardizing it. And then what you have is IL versus JK, that's the quick and dirty way, versus I plus K versus K plus J times K over L. Uh, where that comes from is, uh, you got right here. So this uh, for the real way right here is the real way uh, for the real way you have to do you compare how much they produce in total so then you do i plus l times k over l which is really just k and you compare that with k times j times k over l uh, which is uh, you know the other the other combination so in the end you get i plus plus k versus k plus j times k over l. That's, so that's what you have here. So this is the uh, quick and dirty, this is the real way. And then what you do is a little bit of math. So since they're comparing these two, you know that k is on both sides, you can just subtract both sides by k, now you're comparing i versus j times k over l. Multiply both sides by l, and you get i times l versus j times k times l divided by l which simplifies into i times l versus j times k and look what we have here you came back to the quick and dirty way so i just derived the quick and dirty way from the pure uh, official real way and there you have it that's why the quick and dirty way works thank you guys for watching and uh, have fun learning econ